and welcome to Verdictum. I am Ananya Singh and you are watching today's Legal News, where we update you with the recent important legal developments across the nation. Here are the headlines. Supreme Court seven judge bench reconsiders question whether arbitration clause in unstamped or insufficiently stamped agreement valid. AAP leader Raghav Chadha moves Supreme Court, challenging his suspension from Rajya Sabha. Cheating case against Tamil actor Rajni Khan's wife restored by the Apex Court. Newsclick founder and HR head sent to 10 days judicial custody by Delhi Court. NIA raids premises of banned outfit PFI in multiple states throughout the country. Now let's take a detailed look on the headlines. A seven judge constitution bench of the Supreme Court, comprising the Chief Justice of India, D.Y. Chandrachur, along with Justice S.K. Kaul, Justice Sanjeev Khanna, Justice B. R. Gavai, Justice Surya Kant, Justice J. B. Pardiwala and Justice Manoj Mishra. Today sat for reconsideration of the correctness of the NN Global case relating to the validity of unstamped or insufficiently stamped arbitration agreements. The matter came to be referred to the larger bench of seven judges on September 26th by the Supreme Court's five-judge constitution bench. The five-judge bench headed by the Chief Justice of India had observed that the issue has caused limitless uncertainty in the area of arbitration law and had to be considered by a larger bench. The bench held that having regard to the larger ramifications and the view of the majority in the case titled NN Global Mercantile Private Limited versus Indo Unique Flame Limited and others, the proceeding should be placed before a seven-judge bench. Notably, in April this year, in the case of NN Global mentioned previously, a five-judge constitution bench of the Supreme Court had with a 3-2 majority ruled that an agreement which is not sufficiently stamped cannot be said to be an enforceable contract as per Section 2H of the Contract Act. The present plea is a curative petition challenging a judgment dated February 14, 2020 that held that an arbitration clause in an agreement required to be duly stamped and not sufficiently stamped cannot be considered valid and acted upon by the court. Aam Aadmi Party MP Raghav Chadda has approached the Supreme Court in a challenge to his indefinite suspension as a member of Rajya Sabha. Chadda was suspended from the upper house of the parliament on 11th August on account of breach of privilege during the monsoon session of the house. Several complaints were lodged against Chadda and he was accused of forging signatures of five MPs and including their names in a select committee without obtaining their consent. The signatures were allegedly forged by Chadha in a motion related to the Government of National Capital Territory of Delhi Amendment Bill of 2023, popularly known as the Delhi Services Bill. The suspension of the AAP leader was followed by a motion moved by Leader of the House Piyush Goyal, seeking action against him for including names of parliamentarians without their consent. Chadha, however, opposes the suspension calling it patently illegal and without the authority of law. A bench of the Supreme Court comprising Justice A.S. Bopanna and Justice M.M. Sundresh have restored a cheating case against Latha, the wife of Tamil actor Rajnikanth. The Apex Court was hearing the petitions challenging the Karnataka High Court judgment that quashed proceedings against Latha. The matter pertains to non-payment of dues for the promotion of the film Kocha Dayan, which starred Rajnikanth and Deepika Padukone and was the directorial debut of Rajni Khan's daughter, Sondarya. The complaint in the case was filed by a Chennai-based advertising company, Ad Bureau Advertising Limited. The High Court, though, caused the cheating case against Lata. The charges of forgery were retained by it. The charges of forgery were leveled against Lata for producing a forged document at a civil court in Bengaluru to obtain an injunction for publication of news against her. The order of the High Court was challenged before the Apex Court by the advertising company as well as Lata through separate petitions. The Apex Court disposed the two special leave petitions by restoring the original charge sheet filed in 2018. It further said that it has not expressed anything on the merits of the case and it was within the domain of the trial court to decide the application of discharge on merits. The Patiala House Court in Delhi sent News Click founder and editor in chief. Prabir Purkayasta and HR head Amit Chakravarti to 10 days judicial custody. The two were arrested last week by the Delhi police and booked under the Unlawful Activities Prevention Act 
after allegations of receiving foreign funding for pushing a pro china and anti india agenda through the news portal Delhi police in its FIR has stated that foreign funds and crores have been infused illegally in India in pursuance of a conspiracy with the intention to disrupt the sovereignty and territorial integrity of the nation and to cause disaffection against India and threaten the unity integrity and security of India in the FIR Delhi police accuses news click of intentionally peddling false narratives against India through paid news in lieu of money received from sources outside India Additional sessions judge Hardeep Kaur heard the additional public prosecutor Atul Srivastava who informed the court that the two accused be sent to judicial custody as they are not required to be in police custody as of now the court then allowed the request and sent Purkayasta and Chakravarti to 10 days judicial custody meanwhile the central bureau of investigation has also registered a case against news click citing violation of the foreign contribution regulation act and conducted a search at the residence of the news click founder the national investigation agency is conducting raids at the premises occupied across the nation by the banned organization popular front of india the raids were conducted on several locations in delhi maharashtra tamil nadu among other states the central government on 28 september 2022 declared pfi and eight of its affiliate organizations unlawful association under the unlawful activities prevention act after an organization is declared and confirmed as an unlawful association under uapa the law enforcement agencies like nia and enforcement directorate can continue to crack down on members of the said organization in this particular case the pfi and its associates can be charged under uapa as well as the indian penal code earlier in september this year ED conducted raids in the houses of former PFI workers in many districts of Kerala and in August NIA raided houses of several PFI operatives after one of PFI's largest and oldest physical and arms training center in Manjheri town of Kerala was attacked by it that was all on today's legal news thank you and keep watching verdictum and subscribe to our channel and download the verdictum app on iOS and Android to keep yourself updated with authentic legal news